Now that I have an activity schedule, how will I be able to adjust that activity? Let's say that Susie also works on Tuesdays, but at a different time. Um, how do I make that happen? So I'm going to find the next week that this is going to be applicable. And week of March 24th, there it is on the 26th. Susie doesn't start till 5:30, so I'm going to click on 5:30. I'm going to click what? On Tuesday, She's March basically 26th. going to work on Tuesdays activity? an hour later. So if I go to work, work. and I go to the smart, smart. tab. I already know Walmart at that that's what she's PM going to do. Tuesday, it auto-fills all of the items that I have already listed in there. Yes. yes, that's fine. It gives me an opportunity to add more. I mean, maybe that I want to add in a supervisor in there because Who on Tuesdays, she checks in with work. her supervisor. Okay, who's going Barbara. to be Barbara? That's good. And I'm able then to schedule that from like to schedule 530 activity? to 730. I can give a 15 minute reminder. I'm going to repeat this activity repeat on this Tuesdays activity. for four weeks on there. And on Schedule here. Schedule Walmart each Tuesday from 5 30 p.m. to 7 30 p.m. for two hours from March 26th exactly. to April 16th. So it repeats what I need. Done. I'm done with that. On here also, I can Walmart add information. At 5 30 p.m. Tuesday, March 26th. Be sure to uh, see. Barbara, Barbara, see, be sure to see Barbara about time card. So this says, be sure to see Barbara about time card. There we go. Before you go home, before you go home. That way, Barbara checks that she's filled out her time card properly every Tuesday. So I'm done with done. that. I'm done with that. Done changing this activity. Susie now has. On Tuesdays, and let's go check this. Going to March, Susie now has on Tuesdays work at 4.30, scheduled out for the next four weeks, which will also tell her to check with Barbara for her time card. And that's how you create a work schedule.